Hai, Assalamualaikum. Hi Petri student, this is me Mr. Izur. Now we are going to have a reading class. Okay, are you ready? This is what you have to do first. First we have to prepare the book of course and then the notebook and stationery and of course the dictionary. Are you ready? Okay, let's hit it. What we are going to learn by today is the element of story. We have setting, characters, events, problem, and solution. But you know what? For today, we are going to learn only about setting and character. So, what are setting and character? So, let's watch this video about setting and character first. Enjoy, everybody! out the definition of setting from the following examples the setting might be a hot sunny day at the beach during the summertime or it could be a cold rainy night at a haunted house in October so what do you think the definition of setting is pause here to think or keep watching to find out setting is the time and place of a story it often answers the questions when and where the time of a story may be in the past or in the future, in the daytime or at night, in the summer or winter. A story may take place in a school, in a jungle, in a big city, in the desert, or in a variety of other places. We can also use adjectives or describing words to tell about the setting, like if it's sunny, cold, bright, busy, or spooky. You can determine the setting of a story by looking at the illustrations and finding information in the text. Let's try it. I was walking in the park on a warm day. How would you describe this setting? The text tells you I'm in a park, it's warm, and it's daytime. The illustration shows flowers and birds and the sun. I think it might be spring. So we could describe the setting as a warm spring day in the park. So remember, setting is the time and place a story happens. What settings have you seen in stories before? Now, I want you to post the video and then try to find out the setting of the story. But not all of the book, only from pages 2 to 10. Okay? Complete the information about the setting, the time and era, and also the place. Okay, now we are going to watch a video about what is a character. Are you ready guys? Here we go. Can you figure out the definition of a character from the following examples? A police officer can be a character. A dog might be a character. A robot can even be a character. So what do you think the definition of character is? Pause here to think, or keep watching to find out. Characters are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. Characters can think, feel, or act. For example, a story might be about a boy and his teddy bear. Of course, the boy is a character because he's a person. If the teddy bear is just a regular toy, then it wouldn't be a character. But if the teddy bear can think, feel, move, or maybe even talk, then it would be a character in the story. Let's see what you've learned so far by playing character or not. A nurse, character or not? Yes, a nurse is a person and people are characters. A house, character or not? No, a house is not a person, animal, or creature, so it's not a character. A cat, character or not? Yes, a cat is an animal and animals are characters. A banana, character or not? No, a banana is not a character unless it can think, feel, or act in the story. A dragon, character or not? Yes, a dragon is a creature 
and creatures are characters. So remember, characters are the people, animals, or creatures in a story who can think, feel, or act. Now, it's time for you to stop the video first. I want you to find out the names of the characters on pages 2 to 10 in your notebooks. After you have found the names of the characters and then you write it in your notebook, I want you to prepare for your assignment. The assignment is that you have to do the worksheet in your Google Classroom instruction. You can download the worksheet or you just write the answer in your notebook. It's up to you. Okay. Do you understand what you have to do? Alhamdulillah, if you understand what you have to do. After you do that, just take a picture of your work and upload it to your Google Classroom. And then don't forget to click hand in or turn in. That's a wrap guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.